Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an updated what is in my purse video. I can act the world up for just one day. Watch this madness, colorful charade. No one can be just like me anyway. So I did this video last January, I think it was, and it is still getting views. I think a lot of people really like watching these videos. I know that I do. So I thought that I would just do an updated little what's in my bag, what's in my purse video. And I also need to like kind of clean out my purse and organize it because it has become a mess. So I thought it was the perfect time to just sit down with y'all and kind of talk and show you what is in my bag right now. I feel like when I watch these videos, I get so much more of a sense of who someone is and you can really learn a lot about someone depending on what is in their bag. So here we are. If you are new to my channel, my name is Logan and I upload new content every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon. I share mostly home related content. I love to share my home decor, cleaning motivation. I share home decor shopping hauls. I also share a Dollar Tree haul each week if you are into budget friendly decor and home items. So this is my second what is in my purse video and I'm just going to jump in and start cleaning out my purse. This is my purse and it is very heavy right now. Um, it's got some water on it, but I am just going to start pulling items out and talking to y'all. I was using this purse organizer, which is great. I recommend it, but I had been using it for a really long time and I just wanted to kind of switch it up. So I might put this back in. I might not. I like how it gives structure to a never full but it also kind of makes it like stand open if that makes sense so i feel like when i have this in there my stuff is kind of on display since they don't have zippers so that's a con but it is great for keeping your stuff organized so i just wanted to share that first of all one reason why my bag is so heavy right now <laughs> i had lunch with a friend today and she is getting married in May and she asked me to be one of her bridesmaids at lunch today and she gave me this cute little bottle of wine with the little label that says I can't say I do without you will you be my bridesmaid and it's just a pink Moscato I thought that was super cute, a really fun way to ask your bridesmaids. She also gave me some cute little earrings and some little hair ties. So I just had this thrown into my purse from lunch. I typically do not have a bottle of wine in my purse, so this is a special occasion. I shared this in a Dollar Tree haul not too long ago. It's just a nice like, sunglasses or eyeglasses um pouch and i like to leave this in my purse in case i am like going somewhere and wearing my contacts or you know i have my glasses on and want to take them off i feel like this is nice quality for my eyeglasses so i just leave this in here in case i need to take my glasses off for any reason i also have this little pouch from dollar tree this print is just one of my things. Um, it was with the cosmetic section at Dollar Tree and it is a pretty good size. So when I'm cleaning out my bag, I'm going to put all of my lip glosses and lipsticks and things like that in here, I think, to kind of help things stay organized. I have my keychain and last time I did one of these videos, someone like commented and asked where I got my keychain. I really like having a keychain that you can leave like your license and your cards, things like that in just so I can grab this and run into a store or run errands without getting my whole bag out each stop. So 
I really like this like leather look. It says Ole Miss, but it's kind of wearing off. I've had this for over a year, I think, or close to a year. But I got it at Rebel Rags in Oxford. If you live in Mississippi, they also have a website. But if you're not an Ole Miss fan, obviously you don't care to have this. But mine is Ole Miss, but I wanted to share that since someone asked me last time. And in here, I just have like an insurance card that I use at the pharmacy, um, debit cards, license on the back. I also had someone ask about my hot pink pepper spray last time I did one of these videos and it is from Amazon. I think if you were to just type in like keychain pepper spray, something like that on Amazon, it would pop up. Um, so I have that and then of course, house keys, the key fob to my car, and I never win giveaways, but I won this cute little keychain and it like matches my purse. So this is like a little clear baggie that just has like random kind of medication items in it. I keep like sugar-free cough drops. I've got some Lifesaver mints some lens wipes for my glasses, a little bottle of hand lotion, band-aids, allergy medicine, just some random, one of those little random, you never know what you're gonna need type things, and I try to always be prepared. So I always have a bag of like medications and things like that. I also have this little coin thing or like card holder but I just threw it in here. I've never used it. It's like the Amazon, if you watched my what I got for Christmas video this past year, I got a really nice makeup bag from Amazon that has this like Louis Vuitton like dupe print. It's just the checkered print. It is not a replica. It doesn't say Louis Vuitton, but it's just that same checkered print. So I have this makeup bag and this came with it and I just don't really have a use for it but for some reason it's just tossed into my purse. I think I could use it as a little keychain if I wanted to switch it up. This one is almost like the names almost rubbed off of it so I might eventually just move my license and cards to this and I could hook a keychain here so I might do that eventually because the colors do match my purse so this is something new that was not in my last bag video I have several masks in my purse now and I just kind of have several in here so that I can easily grab one out and after I wear it I can throw it into the washing machine and then I'll still have a backup mask in my bag so I got this one on Etsy and it's just like a Louis Vuitton print that matches my bag. So I got that one and I love this one because the inside is black and on my leopard print mask, like this has been washed. I have used like spray and wash, shout, like all my stain removers, but my makeup, like my base my lipstick will not come out of this so I really like how the inside of this one's black and it helps disguise like makeup stains and this one came from a local boutique but this one is from Etsy you can just look up like designer face mask something like that on Etsy and she had several different colors I also got this one I haven't worn this one yet but it is the white with the multicolor LV and then the pink part that goes around your ears. So I just like a variety. I like to switch it up instead of wearing one mask like every time I go out. So I just have several and I can easily rotate them. I also get like car sick, motion sickness, like every time I get in a car. <laughs> And I hate keeping Dramamine in my purse because when I take Dramamine, it makes me so like 
drowsy and grumpy and I just sleep the whole time. And a blogger that I follow on Instagram actually shared these and they are only like $8 and some change on Amazon. You get 20 patches and I actually used one of these last weekend. I left it on for two days and I never felt nauseous a single time. So like eight-ish dollars for 20 patches. It is the Motion Sickness Patch, 100% Herbal Relief, Anti-Nausea Fast, Non-Drowsy, 72 hour long effect. So like I said, it's just a little circle. It looks like one of those little circle band-aids and you just put it behind your ear right here and it just sticks and it's like a nude color. And like if you're wearing your hair down, no one would even see it. So um, really glad I came across these. And like I said, I left one on for two days last weekend. It worked great. And it has up here in the corner like a car, a boat, a train, a plane. So if you get motion sickness or anything like that, maybe even if you have like the stomach bug or something, it might help with that nausea. But I got them on Amazon and it's definitely worth looking into. I have a little pack of the Assured brand antibacterial wet wipes. It's just a 10 count travel pack. I honestly had these in my purse like anyway. I've always kept hand sanitizer and things like that. But of course now I'm more cautious about like wiping down my cell phone or my keys. Just different items like that that you don't always think about cleaning. These are from Dollar Tree. I also have just this plain black like men's mask that I leave in my purse in case Ethan like doesn't grab his that he always wears. I know like he doesn't have a purse so he doesn't have like all his stuff together. So sometimes we'll leave the house and like his mask is in his truck and we go somewhere in my car. So I just leave this in my purse. I don't even, I think he's worn it like once but I leave this in my purse in case he needs it. I also have my little wallet that matches my purse. Um, really pointless. Like I said, I leave my like everyday necessity cards that I use in my little keychain. But here we have, um, let's see what I have. I have some insurance cards. I have two $15 Starbucks gift cards. I have a Victoria's Secret gift card from last Christmas, it appears. I have used it once. I just have money left on it. And then I have a Belk gift card that I'm honestly wondering if I've had this since we got married. <laughs> I really need to go to Belk and try that out because it probably just has money sitting on it. We, funny story, we had been married like over a year and I had gone into Walmart one day. This was like two years ago. And I had purchased like a cute little top, a hat. I think I got like some curtains or something. Like I had spent around a hundred dollars I think. I got some probably some groceries too and I had a Walmart gift card just in my wallet and I took it out and I was like will you just try this like I it might have money on it it might not I don't even remember when I got it and it ended up having like over fifty dollars on it and I had just it had been sitting there like the whole year we had been married because I just never use gift cards and I receive them quite often. So that's just kind of me. My wallet's probably always going to have gift card money in it. I have the Grove Collaborative Hand Sanitizer Spray and the Blood Orange Scent. I have been using this for like a year and a half and like it lasts forever. It's just now less than half. Like it literally just takes like two sprays and like I feel like the spray goes so much farther than the like Germex gel. 
and it smells really great too. I have this little, um, like, it's a kind of short, like I think maybe three feet phone charger from Five Below. I shared a bunch of like phone chargers and electronics in my latest Five Below haul that I posted on my channel recently. And we just always pick up phone chargers in our bedroom. We like to use like the long phone chargers, but I just picked this one up because it's a really convenient like length to plug my phone in like when I'm in my car driving. So I meant to get this out and put it in my console, but I did not. So there's my little car charger. I also have this little random like Ziploc bag with nasal spray, chapstick, lip glosses, and like I said, right now I'm just like cleaning out my bag and reorganizing it. It needs it really badly. I have my favorite pair of sunglasses. I've literally wore these all summer. And they are a Gucci dupe. And you're going to be able to see my ring light. I'm sorry about that. And they're kind of dirty. <laughs> but um, these are my favorite sunglasses. I have worn them all summer. And they were $12 on Amazon. Like, just very nice quality. Very impressive. They look very chic for $12. They look a lot nicer than $12 in my opinion. But... I just love those. I have definitely gotten my money's worth. They came in this little bag and they also have like the little lint cloth in there to clean them off with. I have a fresh, this one has not been opened yet, little travel pack of hand wipes. I have two random band-aids. I have this little bottle of A Thousand Wishes lotion from Bath and & Body, and it is almost gone, but I like to refill these, so it needs to be refilled now. Um, I'll just put other, like, Bath & Body or Victoria's Secret lotion in here, and, like, I feel like my hands get really dry from sanitizer, and especially in the wintertime, and we are getting closer to winter, but I just like to keep a little lotion in my purse for my hands. <laughs> I have a random goldfish in here. I like to take my purse, like, to the golf course, and I'll put, like, snacks in it when Ethan is golfing and I'm just riding with him. And I obviously had some goldfish in there and one swam away. I also have some Austin peanut butter crackers. This is one of Ethan's favorite snacks, and like I said, I just put snacks in my purse on the weekends when we go golfing. Okay, that is it for the big part of my purse, but I have the little inside zipper kind of loaded down, so I really need to go through that. So, this is a really nice nail file. They actually, last time I got a pedicure, they sent me home with the file and the buffer. I guess because of everything that's going on, they are being more like cautious and maybe like using new supplies more frequently. But for whatever reason, they sent me home with the file and the buffer. And I love this nail file. It is in my purse right now, but I usually have it in my bathroom with like my nail polish and stuff. I really like to like buff my nails and like file my nails with this before I put my press on nails on. I also have my tangled up like earbuds that came with my phone in here and that's just for on the go if I'm ever like in the car and Ethan's driving and I need to like edit something or if I want to listen to a podcast that like he doesn't want to listen to whatever I just like to leave these in my purse for on the go I also have a pair of like Bluetooth ones that I leave in my nightstand for watching things like at night so that I can charge my phone and listen. I have a random little like cloth that I clean my glasses with floating around in here. This is my absolute favorite lipstick. This is what I'm wearing today. I've shared this in a couple of videos, but like it has been my go-to for years. 
It is CoverGirl and the color is Vintage Wine. It is number 425 if you are looking for it. And it is literally like three or four dollars at Walmart. It's just a really pretty like brownish kind of toned down like red color. It's really pretty for fall. I do a nude or light pink lip a lot, but as we move closer to fall, I like to use this color. I also have this LA Colors Plump Gloss, and it is in kind of like a corally color. And I found this at Dollar Tree. I've only seen it there once, but I really do love it. It's a really pretty color. It has like some shimmer in it. I actually put this on on top of my vintage wine today and I really liked it together. It does plump, like I love, I don't know how well it works, but I love that tingly feel of like plumping glosses. So I really like it and if I saw it again, I would pick it up. They probably have it at Walmart, but it is just by LA Colors and I don't know the name of it, but it is just like a coral color. I have this very worn out pack of gum and like you can literally see the gum right here. So I'm just going to toss that. No telling how long it's been in there. I have my little Buggables repellent band and this has really worked. I've worn it three different times on the golf course and it has kept the bugs away for the most part. It is in a little resealable baggie. So if you like wear it for a few hours and take it off and put it back in its bag and like Ziploc it, you can reuse it. I've used it several times, but I found this at Dollar Tree and it's one of those things I've only seen it there once. I would pick it up again and I'm sure they have something similar like at Walmart but I just hate messing with bug spray and that smell. And this is just a Centronella smell. So it kind of smells like those candles you would burn outside to repel bugs and things like that. So that's what it looks like. I really like it and I recommend it if you or your kids have trouble with bugs bothering you when you're outside. I've got a nasal spray. I have allergies, so I always keep nasal spray, Benadryl, eye drops in my purse in case I ever need them. These are my contact lens eye drops by Clear Eyes. So that's the ones that I use when I have my contacts in. I have a random goodies. I keep goodies or BC on hand for when I get one of those really bad headaches. I have two different bottles of nail glue. Just another thing that I keep on hand. I usually do press on nails, but sometimes I do the glue on ones. And sometimes after a couple of weeks when the Press on ones start to come off, but I'm not ready to completely apply a new set. I will just glue it back on and it will give me a few more days of wear. This is my favorite brush on glue. It is the Bring the Salon Home Kiss Power Flex Brush on Nail Glue. I also have this one, but this one feels kind of dried up. I think that's an older one. I just haven't gone through my purse in several months. I have just a CoverGirl powder, and this is just what I leave in my purse, mainly for the mirror, but I will apply powder like when needed. I have some of the extra chewy mints and peppermint. I've shared before that I'm not like a huge gum person. I'll chew some every once in a while, but I really like these mints instead of chewing gum. I have a couple more hand sanitizers in here. This one, I have refilled it like four different times. It used to be like a pink one that smelled good from Bath and Body. One of my friends gave it to me like on her bachelorette trip, I think. It says Bride Tribe. But right now, it just literally has Germex in it because these are so like compact and convenient that I like to keep these little bottles and then just refill them with my larger Germex at home. 
This one still has some Bath & Body product in it. It is the A Thousand Wishes, which is the same scent as my little hand lotion. I love this scent, and this one also has some sparkle, some shimmer in it. I gave Ethan some of this sanitizer a few weeks ago when we were eating somewhere, and he was like, why are my hands sparkly? <laughs> like, so I like to keep this one and I like to trick Ethan into using it sometimes on the weekends. I do really like this extra sweet watermelon and this pack has been through it as well. This gum has been in here, I don't know how long and it's all smushed up together, but I get this gum at Dollar Tree, like in the checkout line and it tastes really, really good. So when I do want gum, I really like the watermelon kind. I have another pack right here. Um, let's see. I have one of the Aroma Guru essential oil roll-ons in peppermint and also muscle ease. I have shared these in several Dollar Tree hauls. I also have a lavender in my nightstand. But I just love using essential oils, especially if I'm getting a headache. I love the convenience of just rolling the peppermint oil like behind my ear, on the back of my neck. I'll put it on my wrist, things like that. Sometimes just like smelling of it helps. But peppermint oil is great for headaches. And then the Muscle Ease one also has peppermint oil in it. So I also switch it up and use it for headaches. I've also used it on a certain, like if my arms are sore from like working out, I might put some, and I don't know if it like really helps, but I love the smell of essential oils and the peppermint definitely helps my headaches. I have a Carmex Daily Care cupcake batter chapstick and this stuff tastes so good. I was like in line at I think Dollar General and they didn't have Burt's Bees and I do not like the chapstick brand of chapstick. So I went with Carmex but I didn't want like that strong Carmex taste. So I picked up the cupcake batter and it tastes so good. It smells great too, so I recommend that. I have another little bottle of eye drops and this one's just redness relief. I do not use this one when my contacts are in. I think I just picked that up at like a convenience store, honestly, like when I had ran out of my eye drops. I have a Mary Kay Nourish Shine Lip Gloss. Sugarberry is the color of that, and it's a really pretty, like, plum fall color, and it has some shimmer in it, so I like to put these glosses on top of my lipsticks. I have another goodies floating around and a teletie. I usually have a ponytail holder or hair tie, like, on my wrist, but for the occasion that I do not, I try to always leave one in my purse, in my car, or sometimes like a friend needs one. So I try to keep that and my purse is officially empty and I already feel better. So I'm going to organize some items, get rid of some items and get my purse cleaned up and back in order. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to film like an updated one since y'all loved my last one. If you did enjoy it, please leave this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below so that you don't miss any future content. I will be sharing my fall home tour very, very soon. So if you are into home decor and want to see how I've decorated my house for fall, subscribe and come back each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to see what I upload. Comment below and let me know if your purse is a mess too because mine was a hot mess and I'm kind of embarrassed, especially my little goldfish cracker that was swimming around in the bottom of my bag. But I'm getting back on track, I'm getting organized, and I encourage you to do the same. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.